female uterus have three layers the outer layer is perimetrium the middle one is myometrium the innermost layer is endometrium in short pme perimetrium myometrium endometrium endometriosis is the occurrence of endometrial tissue in an abnormal site which is termed as ectopic anywhere outside the uterus simply saying endometriosis is the ectopic endometrium outside uterus whereas the adenomyosis is ectopic endometrium within other layers of uterus so ectopic endometrium outside uterus is endometriosis within uterus is adenomyosis normally in females of reproductive age group this inner endometrial layer undergoes changes in every menstrual cycle early phase of the cycle there is thickening of endometrium as a preparation to receive the fertilized egg but when fertilization fails to happen in that cycle there is shedding of this thickened endometrial tissue resulting in menstrual bleeding abnormal occurrence of this endometrial tissue outside the uterus can also thickens and bleeds in each cycle which ends in the formation of additions to these sites peculiarities of endometriosis number 1 it is highly proliferative growth but it is benign malignancy is extremely rare Number 2 ectopic endometrial tissue respond to ovarian hormones estrogen increases the growth progesterone reduces the growth endometriosis occur in child bearing period rare before menarche and disappears after menopause theories support the origin of endometriosis are implantation theory Silomic metaplasia theory metastatic theory Samson implantation theory menstrual endometrium normally take the path through the cervix into the vagina to outside the vulva but according to this theory there is back passage of this menstrual endometrium through the fallopian tube with sprilling causing implantation as well as growth in anywhere in the pelvic region mayer and ivanov silomic metaplasia theory embryological structure silum is the body cavity lined by mesothelial cells see the picture silum is the body cavity lined by mesothelial cells from this silomic mesothelial cells body wall heart liver lungs female genitalia gat are all developed so late in life the metaplastic changes in this mesothelial cells result in endometriosis to these sites having similar embryological origin metastatic theory here menstrual fragments get embolized and travel through the blood and lymphatic channels causing implantation and growth in distant sites resulting endometriosis to these sites I am saying the first 10 most common sites of endometriosis number 1 is the ovaries Number 2 is the cul-de-sac where the peritoneal folding between the rectum and the uterus forms a pouch. See the pouch between rectum and uterus which is the second common site of endometriosis. Number 3 is the uterosacral ligament which connect the uterine cervix to sacrum in either side and support the uterus. So uterosacral ligament connect uterus to sacrum. Number 4 broad ligaments these are the peritoneal folds that attaches the uterus fallopian tubes and ovaries to the lateral pelvic wall on either sides and supports the uterus Number 5 is the fallopian tubes on either sides of uterus 
Number six is the uterovesical fold. These are peritoneal fold between bladder and uterus which forms the vesico-uterine pouch. Number seven, round ligaments are supporting ligaments which connect the uterus to growing. Number eight is the vermiform appendix which forms the eighth common site of endometriosis. Number nine is the vagina. And number 10 is the rectosigmoid colon. So these are the 10 most common sites of endometriosis. Scar endometriosis seen at sites following an operation. High incidence in classical caesarean section. Common types of endometriosis are ovarian endometriosis or chocolate cyst of ovaries. Pelvic endometriosis which involves pelvic peritoneum, pouch of ductless and uterosacral ligaments. Rectovaginal endometriosis which involves uterosacral ligaments, posterior fornix of vagina, anterior wall of rectum and sigmoid colon. Ectopic endometrium bleeds in each menstrual cycle. In ovaries, it presents as chocolate cyst or endometrioma, where the cyst is filled with hemorrhagic fluid which gives a chocolate appearance. Cyst is located between ovary and lateral pelvic wall. Additions are present on undersurface of ovary. Histologically, there are endometrial epithelium, endometrial gland, fresh bleeding spots, and pseudosanthoma cells. Pseudosanthomas are polyhedral, hemosiderin laden macrophages. Each menstrual cycle, blood from the bleeding sites of ectopic endometrium get trapped and undergoes inflammation. In pelvic endometriosis, fresh hemorrhage is red vesicle with hemorrhagic fluid which appears as flame-like lesion. This flame-like lesion later becomes dark red, blue, black, later scarring occurs which gives a puckered appearance. All lesions are seen as powdered burn spot. Yellow brown fluid is seen in cul de sac which contain poster gladding. Because of inflammation, raised chemical mediators are seen in pelvic endometriosis. Endometriosis is a painful disorder. Pain present as dysmenorrhea, abdominal pain, dyspareunia, chronic pelvic pain. Occasionally, the pain suddenly becomes very severe and present as acute abdomen because of ruptured chocolate cyst, which is a surgical emergency case. Bleeding from ectopic sites usually presents as menorrhagia, later cause additions. When it is in tubes, it interferes the tubal motility and function when in ovaries can inhibit ovulation, leads to infertility. Urological and bowel symptoms are present according to the sites involved. On abdominal examination, a cystic swelling can be felt. It is fixed and slightly tender. Speculum examination may reveal bluish or blackish puckered spot in the posterior fornix, which is tender to touch. Multiple small nodules in uterosacral ligament and pouch of ductless can be felt as cobblestone when palpate through the posterior fornix of vagina. In uterus, the middle layer myometrium forms the uterine wall. 
uterine wall is made up of three layers of muscle tissues outer longitudinal middle mesh like inner circular adenomyosis is the occurrence of endometrial tissue in uterine wall or myometrium it is otherwise known as uterine endometriosis when entire uterine wall is involved then there is symmetrical enlargement of uterus if the occurrence is localized then there is asymmetrical enlargement of uterus usually there is symmetrical enlargement where the size does not exceed more than the size of uterus in 40th week of pregnancy this enlargement can be identified through laparoscopy mri and ultrasound histologically islets of endometrial gland which is surrounded by stroma is seen in between the muscle tissue adenomyosis is seen in paris women around the age of 40s symptoms include some it is asymptomatic for some there is menorrhagia with progressively increasing dysmenorrhea others are pelvic discomfort backache dyspareunia on examination there is diffuse symmetrical enlargement of uterus and is painful to touch